Hello everyone and welcome to this new video. I have some amazing news for you. And this is that as of the 21st of this month, we now have data refresh APIs. Now the Power BI APIs have been around for quite a while now, but they've been mostly used to actually push or stream data. Now with this new endpoint that we actually get with this API, we're now able to schedule or execute refreshes on demand without actually going to the website. So we no longer have to go to the website, hit that the schedule refresh or refresh now button. We can actually do it from our own applications and we can trigger it however we actually want. Now, also great news is that we also have another endpoint to actually get the history of all the refreshes that we have actually done. So this is the uh, refresh history endpoint, as you can see here. And with that, we can actually see when that refresh happened. And if it actually had any errors, then we can see the errors as well, which is really nice. Now, in order for you to actually get this data from the API, you need to query it. And what better tool to actually use to query it than the Power BI desktop itself? So I went ahead and created this custom connector and it's completely free, so you can download it and just follow the instructions to actually use it. And now in Power BI Desktop, if I actually just load Power BI Desktop, I go to the Get Data, I can just search for Power BI and I get this connector. This is the Power BI REST API connector. As any other connector, it's just going to require me for my credentials beforehand. So there we go. So this is credentials. Hit uh, sign in. Sorry. And it's just going to require me as any other OAuth for my credentials. So my email and my password. So I have my email right here. There we go. It's going to require me if it's actually a work account or if it's actually a personal account. It's a work account. There we go. And now I just have to enter my password. There we go. So now we're actually inside the API. Or we're actually authenticated to be able to query the data from the API. So I created this navigator and we have two, basically two entities. And the first one is for groups or app workspaces. And in here I can see the dashboards that I have in all of my groups. Uh, is also is always the ones that I have access to because I'm actually authenticated. Uh, I also have all the data sets that I have access to as you can see here, we have the reports that I have access to. So you can imagine that this is basically a catalog of everything that I have access to. So this is really nice. I know what I'm actually getting access to. And if I'm actually the owner or the admin with this query called the workspaces list, I can also see for my group what people actually have access to that group. I can see all of the members from this table, uh, this nested table here. So I can just expand it if I actually go in here and see who has access and what type of access people have to that specific workspace or group. Now, the one that we really want to see is the refresh history. And this one is really uh, touching for me because I'm having issues with a refresh that is taking just too long. And I want to analyze why it's actually taking so long. So I can see here uh, the group ID, the data set ID, refresh ID, refresh type, start time, end time, service exception. And the service exception is actually giving me the reasons why this is failing. And I see that the status is failed. So I can just go and drill down into the record and see why exactly this is giving me errors. Now, this is all in the realm of the app workspace or the group. I can also go to my own workspace and I'll, I'm going to have pretty much the same experience. I can see all of the dashboards that I have in my own workspace. The dashes is that I've actually created for my own workspace. Uh, the refresh history for everything within my uh, workspace. And also all of the reports that I have for my own uh, workspace. Now, I also have one last thing is that you have the ability to actually create or query the endpoint that you want. So I have this function right here called get data. I'm just going to select it, 
click on edit and you're going to get this uh, window uh, that is going to be the basically query navigator or query editor and you have pretty much the same experience that you will get with any other functions it's fully documented so you, you has you just have to actually read it uh, you can get the full documentation on the endpoints that you can actually get from this api from here but with this one this is the base is the api.powerbi.com b1 slash my org so you just have to add or concatenate to that one whatever you put in this parameter so if i put something like reports and just invoke that i'm going to get the raw response from the api and i can just drill down and just analyze it we can actually expand this and see all of the reports that i have for my own workspace because that is the specific uh, endpoint to get the reports from my workspace perhaps i can actually go back and uh, you know what let's go back to the get data function and instead of actually going with reports i can just type here dashboards and that is going to give me all of the dashboards that i have in my own workspace so to table you can just go through the ui and just get the response that you uh, got from the api so again this is completely free you can get it now just go to the github repository uh, you're going to have uh, pretty much all of the instructions to make it work as you can see here it also have a, it also has a few images screenshots so it can actually help you with but if you have any questions at all you can leave it in the description the comments below or you can also go to the issues and create a new issues to this repository anyway ho hope that you guys like this and let me know your feedback thank you